Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Dave Blinks here, bringing you guys another part of Transworld Snowboarding. As you can see, we uh, officially we completed the other mission for the Border Rally. Okay, let me think here. We're gonna go with Park. Do I wanna go with Transworld Park, or do we wanna do... Hmm... I would say that I'll just go with this one for now. <clears throat> All right. You know, pick a place for to get the smashing of the ice to make sure. Check in my thing. I'm recording. Um, I have no clue where the, the ice fall is. Oh wait, it must be this one. All right. failed come on land it oh come on baby just do it again yes keep going okay that's not the way I wanted you to go but okay keep the combo all right well we got the pro score uh, let me sh look at that actually okay if I do well enough, I can, um... Possibly get... Let's get some speed, let's do some grinding. Doing pretty good. Dude, if I really focus, we can get the uh, other score. I might have to go and I'll get on edit with the brightness. I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Is it a little bit too bright? Oh, fuck. Dude, no. Come on. Oh. Actually, rail. Yeah, okay, well, it didn't. Um, yes, super pro score, guys. Look at that. <laughs> nice. I really need to do a land 80 meter drop. Perfect mute. Get the other one. It's just the other ice rolls, I believe. Yeah. So let's go all the way over here. Okay, I'm surprised that. Let me keep going. Okay, I need to figure out a mute. Um, is it a special one? I'm gonna have to click down the thumbstick or not? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's get the one I swallow over here. I don't think I can do the 80 uh, meter drop. Okay, 
Okay. Guess it's in this house area. Yes, it is. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna get the 80 meter drop either. So, I believe it. let's just go take a left over here, guys. And I'm gonna just smash that wall or. Nice. Yeah, I just need to get the wall, so let's restart and quickly get that. Alright guys, uh, we got all the goals here, so let's exit out. Let's start transfer park and let's make sure we have the uh, park board. Alright, the first thing, double front flip. Okay, that's going to be a little bit harder, that's fine. Okay, one of the hard things is for this one is to get the scores. They're pretty big. Yeah, that seems to be a little bit better brightness. Okay, don't gotta do a steel fish. Yeah, that's a mute. Alright, let's try to get a stale fish. Is that it? No, that's a nose bone. What is this? Okay, that's not it. Um nose tail. Okay. There we go. I'm really trying, but... Man, that's... It's actually pretty sensitive. Okay. Of course not. Well, we barely got any of those goals done, did we? Okay, let's see if we can try to get the trip, the tricks, this run. All right, like completely okay. There we go. Okay, let's do a double front flip. Actually, one. Okay, two. That's pretty easy. One, two, three. Uh, grind on this. Right? That's one. Yep. Dude, it's so freaking like, like, it's like in between a nose and 
the method, but like it's like so pinpoint. But not in like a good way. Like if I do this, if I do a, a left diagonal, I'm doing a method which is just supposed to be a, a normal left, like right there, normal left on the thumbstick. I don't get why it's doing that. It's just so freaking annoying. There we go. There we go. I don't think there's anything else we can even really get. Well, I guess we could do that. Boop. Okay, restart. Now all we gotta do left is just the scores, guys. So, yeah. Update on my uh, presentations for engineer. Pretty much, we had uh, so sophomores, freshmen, and then like middle schoolers come in. We did uh, we presented stuff. Uh, surprisingly, uh, my group. I think they did a little rating system. They asked which group did you like best before they leave. And our group was the one everyone liked best. I posted on Twitter uh, what our set looks like. I'll, I'll put a, I'll give you guys a link to the actual the tweet so you guys can go ahead and see that. And you guys can go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Anyway. Uh, we were what what we were doing uh, before the presentations is pretty much we already built the field for robotics, so then we were just testing out ideas for like what robot type of robot are we going to use for the games, and uh, we pretty much have like some prototypes of wood, so we were just shooting some dodgeballs out. And we let the kids shoot out the dodgeballs, and another one of the kids could catch it. I click the button so then I can continue my freaking combo and then I somehow land on the side up sign up there. I mean come on. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make this one. Nope. I did not make that one. Okay. Let's continue. Yeah, if you click the thumbstick, you can do more tricks. But surprisingly, I never knew that every, like forever. The whole time whenever I played this game as a kid. I might have like done some of like, the clicking thumbsticks tricks before. It's possible. But well, the big thing I didn't know as a kid definitely is how to keep your combo going. You just click the triggers, the two triggers before you even uh, land. I never knew that. So pretty much as a kid, all these score challenges that I completed, I didn't use the triggers for the combos. I would have to actually do big air tricks and then do like long grinds. And that's usually how I did it. But some of these are like almost impossible without you knowing the the triggers. I don't think I even 100% completed um all the challenges for one person before. But I know I got to like the end of the thing with multiple characters. All right, super score. Some of my subscribers have been asking what happened to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Uh, gave you guys an up update about that a long time ago and why I have to do why I decided to do a Spongebob Squarepants Super Sponge and essentially my memory card broke from my PS2 but recently I have actually um, I've actually uh, bought a new PS2, a fat model one actually 
I got a bunch of new controllers, so that fixed my uh, controller issues. I got a new memory card. And maybe I might be using the fat model PS2 because the slim model I have, pretty much uh, sooner or later, the uh, pin in the back of like where you plug in the um, box to power it, sooner or later it's going to go out. Oh my fucking god, guys. If I, if I, if I fuck this up, I, I swear to god. I shouldn't be playing video games. Yes! I did it! Finish it off with this. So, um, yeah. Might be able to do some more games uh, for the PS2. Now, even after, even though I got the new equipment, even after I finished SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge, I don't know if I'm gonna go straight back into Big Battle Bikini Bottom. I might. But I might want to just do some new Let's Plays and stop redoing old ones for you guys. And kind of kind kind of did get burnt. I'm getting a little bit burnt out in uh, platformers because that's pretty much all I've been uploading. I want to do some different games. Recently bought an Xbox 360, so yeah, there's a lot of games on that console I would like to do and stuff. Okay, so. But yeah, I will redo uh, both Tony Hawk Pro Skater for the PS1, and I will redo SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for the Bikini Bottom. I will do, redo those guys, but uh, right now, not at the moment. Just don't want to get, you know, burnt out doing the same games over and over again. Oop. I don't know if that was the right one. Oh, it was. Cool. And then let's go ahead and get the perfect... I did the wrong... I think I did... So, oh my god. Jeez. Is this front? No, that's back side. Okay, so. Come on. Yes, finally guys. Boom. Well, there you guys go. That's part three of Transroll Snowboarding. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.